Okay, I have three items for today. I will go to the more exciting items first. First, in the matter of GR number 227635, Laila De Lima versus Rodrigo Roa Duterte in his capacity as President of the Philippines. The court resolved as follows, quote, without necessarily giving due course to the petition, the petitioner and the Office of the Solicitor General are directed to submit their respective memorandum on the issue of whether the President of the Republic of the Philippines, as the sole respondent in this case, is immune from suit, including this one, within a non-extendable period of 10 days from notice. It is noted that the issue of immunity of the President from suit is a prejudicial question to be first resolved before the court decides whether to require him, referring to the president, to comment or not, pursuant to the rule on the writ of habeas data. Close quote. For purposes of precision, when reporting, please quote the two paragraphs of the court because the language is very specific. Second item. The Supreme Court has ordered an investigation into the circumstances relative to the purported issuance of a search warrant directed to the CIDG that has led to the death in custody of Alguera Mayor Rolanda Espinosa. Okay, last item. In the matter of GR number 225973, Saturnino C. Ocampo et al. versus Rear Admiral Ernesto C. Enriquez et al., GR number 225984, Representative Edsel Lagman, et al. versus Executive Secretary Salvador C. Medialdea et al. GR number 226097, Loretta Ann Pargas Rosales et al. versus Executive Secretary Salvador C. Medialdea et al. GR number 226116, He, her son Alvarez et al. versus Executive Secretary Salvador C. Medialdea et al. GR number 226117, Zaira Patricia B. Banyaga et al. versus Secretary of National Defense et al. GR number 226120, Algamar A. Latif versus Secretary Delfino Lorenzana et al. And GR number 226294, Senator Laila M. De Lima versus Executive Secretary Salvador C. Medeldea et al. The court, with a vote of 9 to 5, with Justice Bienvenido Reyes taking no part, rendered the following judgment. Wherefore, premises considered, the petitions are dismissed. Necessarily, the status quo ante order is hereby lifted. Close quote. The following concurred in the decision, Justices Velasco, Leonardo de Castro, Brion, Bersamin, Del Castillo, Perez, Mendoza, and Perlas Bernabe. The following dissented from the decision, the Chief Justice, the Senior Associate Justice, Justices Leonen, Hardeleza, and Kagiwa. The following submitted separate opinions, Concurring opinions, Justices Brion, Perez, and Mendoza. Dissenting opinions, the Chief Justice, the Senior Associate Justice, Justices Leonen and Kagiwa. As of today, one or two more justices may still submit their separate opinions when the decision is finally released. Under the internal rules, the decision together with all of the dissenting and concurring opinions will be released at the same time. They will not be released today because... As you know, the decision will end. The separate opinions will still be edited, rewritten, and finalized and signed. So expect that within the week. Okay? Uh, there is a long summary, about eight pages, I will not read it, of the decision as well as the dissenting opinions. Uh, you may ask questions, and I can just pick up from the decision. It's too long to read. Wait, say salang, say salang, salang. Justice Peralta. <coughs> yes. Huh? <coughs> Dali, ah. Okay, one to one to five. First five siguro. Okay. First, no grave abuse of discretion on the part of the president in ordering the burial of the remains of the former president at the Libinga Namabayani because this was done in the exercise of his mandate under Article 7, Section 17, the faithful compliance of the Laws Clause of the 1987 Constitution. 
and that there is no law that prohibits the burial of the Marcos remains at the Libingan ng mga bayani. Second main reason, uh, the president has the power to reserve under the administrative code for public use and for, for specific public purposes any of the lands of the public domain and that the reserved land shall remain subject to the specific public purpose indicated until otherwise provided by law or proclamation. Court found that there is no law or executive issuance at present that specifically excludes the land on which the uh, LNM, LNMB is located from the use it was originally intended by the previous presidents. Third uh, reason, the court found that under AF, pertinent AFP regulations, particularly uh, Regulation G161-375, the Marcos remains could be interred at LNMB because Marcos possessed the qualifications and none of the disqualifications under the resolutions, pointing out that he was a former president, he was a former commander-in-chief, he was a former soldier, Medal of Valor awardee, former legislator, Secretary of National Defense. <coughs> the court also disagreed with the position uh, articulated by some justices as well as the, as the petitioners that the former president had been dishonorably discharged, saying that this specific disqualification pertains only to the military covered under the Articles of War, and specifically those in the active service. And finally, the court disagreed that Marcos was disqualified because he had not been convicted of crimes involving moral turpitude. The court said that the cases cited by the petitioners, which were cases abroad, were all civil in nature, and therefore he has not been convicted by any final judgment involving moral turpitude. That's the long and short of it. You can read it in the summary. There is also a summary of the concurring opinions thus far, as well as the dissenting opinions thus far. Please note in your reports that one or two more justices may still submit their separate opinions. I don't know whether they are concurring or dissenting. I don't know which justices will still submit. Let's see. Uh, I think because of the main opinion disagreeing with the dissent you can see already some of the issues uh, public purpose public funds dishonorable discharge uh, reading the constitution as a whole uh, grave abuse of discretion by the president because there is no public purpose for the interment of the remains of the living and Bayani. Uh, one particular justice pointed out as well that it appears that the actions of the public respondents are contrary to the oath of office because they encourage impunity, which is the result of rewarding the person who presided over human rights violations and who personally participated in the plunder of the public treasury. Some justice, one justice also mentioned that the court had already made a ruling on uh, who Mr. Marcos was, and the Congress had also made a ruling, well, determination rather, uh, of who Mr. Marcos was, and that this could not be changed. These were not any more subject of review, whether judicial or administrative. That's a very quick snapshot. I am sorry I cannot uh, you know, read everything. They are very long. Eight page? I think you will get yours as soon as you step out that door. No, yeah, they say it's a lie, say it's a lie. Oh, yeah, come on. The what? Sorry, sorry. <coughs> uh, no, they were simply talking about gave abuse of discretion. So I think, I, I don't think there is any question of fact involved here. This is the Supreme Court, so the Supreme Court does not look at questions of fact. It just looks at questions of law, particularly in this case, gave abuse of discretion. Anjo. Sir, uh, is the decision of an immediate executory or an executory? I, I read the entire judgment, so it doesn't say anything about being immediate executory. But since then, the right has admitted the court will be taken from the very tomorrow. I read the entire judgment, Dina, so don't ask me to answer that. Sir, this question is just a question. Huh? 
Sisi. Bienvenido, Reyes, yes. Okay? Ano na yan? Isa sa? Lia? Ha? Hindi pa alam. Kakatapos lang nila eh. So, the, the court just asked uh, that, that I think so, they will constitute someone to, they will not constitute, they will direct someone to investigate uh, the issuance of the search warrant. I don't know the parameters yet of the investigation. Huh? I don't know. I don't think so. I don't think so. But that's within the power of the court anyway, because it's a lower court that issued the search warrant. Yes? Question? Okay, na? An anong gusto niyong gawin ko? <laughs> ano, ano? Ano yung tatas ko? Eh, naka-folder. <laughs> naka-folder. Ano yung tatas ko? Naka-folder siya. <coughs> hmm. Okay? Ay, salamat. Ha? Huh? Kayo talaga. Ah, ayan, 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 ayan. Sige, susunod, may bayad na. Okay. Thank you. conference ng Korte Suprema ayon sa tagapagsalita ng mataas na hukuma na si Attorney Tio Dorte sa botong 9-5 hindi pinabura ng Korte Suprema ang mga petisyon kontra si Heroes Burial ni dating Pangulong Ferdinand Marcos. Ibig sabihin maaaring ipagpatuloy ang plano paghihimlay kay Marcos sa libingan ng mga bayani. Ayon sa SC walang batas na pumipigil sa paghihimlay kay Marcos sa naturang libingan. Hindi rin daw na-convict ang dating Pangulo sa mga kasong may kinalaman sa moral torpitude. Hindi rin daw sangayon ang mataas na hukuman sa posesyon ng ilang maestrado at ng mga petitioner na dishonorably discharged ang dating Pangulo. Ang desisyong ito ikinatuwa at ipinagpasalamat ng pamilya Marcos at ng mga taga-suporta nito. Sa ngayon nakikita natin sa labas ng Korte Suprema ang mga taga-suporta ng dating Pangulong Marcos na nagbubunyi at nagpapalakpakan dahil sa inilabas na desisyon ng Korte Suprema. Labis namang ikinadismaya ng National Union of People's Lawyers ang pasya ng mataas na hukuman. Nariyan din sa labas ng Korte Suprema sa kahabaan ng Padre Faura ang grupong kontra sa paghihimlay kay dating Pangulong Marcos sa libingan ng mga bayani at nagsasagawa ng kanilang protesta. At po ang ating live coverage. Tutok lang dito sa GMA News TV para oras-oras alam mo. Ako po si Teresa Zafra. Magandang hapon.